Well, hello there, everybody. Uh, I've just had an absolute heart attack because I heard crackling in the background. I was thinking, what's going on? There's something wrong. It's my wife being a thief in the fridge, pinching the ripples. Um, so I was absolutely, I think, oh, honest, Mickey, it just, uh, I was devastated there for a second. I thought we had problems. I thought we had problems. But uh, let, let's get into this. Um, welcome to the Heat Army podcast. Um, apologies. Uh, obviously, this is the third attempt to get this one on. Uh, the COVID uh, savaged me last week. Um, but I'm a big boy and I've uh, I've, I've manned up and uh, we're, we're past it now. But um, let's get into some um, housekeeping before we go. Big thank you to our sponsors, Northern Print Solutions. And is it that way? No, it's that way. It's a, no, no, no. There. Which we yeah. Are, my day and uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. How not very amateur. <laughs> So there we go, Northern Solutions and our partners, uh, Patrick there as well, uh, and of course, subscribe, let's get into it, can you see I've been busy, can you see I've been busy, I want to show off my new toys, um, also as well, um, as I say, Adam Campbell has left for pastures new this week, so we'll be talking about that, thank you Adam Campbell, lovely lad, signed for Crawley, there is also as well, people that have arrived, we've got McBride and Harrison Bond to talk about, that was announced this evening, and of course, the ladies as well, we've got them to talk about, there's a fixture change. Angels. We've got that there, but we'll get right into that very, very shortly. Uh, just to, to see, introduce this beautiful man, Mickey. Of course, uh, we give him a little preview there when I was uh, flustered about the um, ripples Ripple being pinched. Ripple gate. I could see a crap like rumbling. I said, like, what, what is it? And she come in like creeping Jesus to steal the chocolate out of the fridge, may I add? Out of the fridge. Right. Oh, well. uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> fully interactive everybody if you want to get back in the fridge gate you can send us your messages as barry lee has done here evening guys how are you all doing after saturday well mickey i wasn't there of course um <laughs> sorry i'm trying not to cough um <coughs> you always haven't coughed all day and then we start on here someone's put a uh, I hope you're feeling better soon, uh, Mr. The, the symmetry uh, <laughs> the commentary on saturday obviously yeah you meant there uh yeah Devastated to have missed it, but Mickey, you were there. I'll put the highlights up where we're talking about it. Um, I was following from Twitter, like a lot of people would have been doing, because obviously wasn't there to do the commentary. Um, but uh, it seemed like uh, the first half we were flying, Mickey. First half, it was it was just like pre-season continued. We were outstanding, and I heard Luke Garrard's comments that we passed them, we ran past them. We bustled them off the ball. He says anything we wanted to do, they've done it. And two 0 up at half time. I said these are these are in a catch twenty two situation here. Do the do they come out and leave spaces at the back for we? or do they stick and try and hit one the break? And they come out second half and they just up their game. Um, absolutely, it was gutting that we threw it away so late. Uh, but first half, wow, absolutely wow. But we second half, they were just launching bars up, and it seemed like we were panicking at the back. Yeah, and just hoofing it, and it, it was just coming straight back. Um, the substitutions. Um, I'm not. I mean, yeah, I, 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 I got one, mate. I've seen a few people mentioning, obviously, that, um, people maybe wondered why Magne was brought on into midfield if, you know, and uh, maybe you could have moved uh, Booty up and Kenton in defence. Obviously, we're all armchair managers when it comes to this, but obviously here's Jordan Hunter getting on the score yeah. sheet there. We're expecting top bins after the bin talk, but uh, they all count. <laughs> yeah. Great to see you, Mark. I don't think this substitution did work, uh, but... Hindsight's a wonderful thing, isn't it? It is. Well, Mickey Scully's put as a real game of two halves. Connor Whelan was a massive uh, miss. Sorry, not Connor Whelan, Callum Whelan, uh, but he's put Connor there. It was a massive miss in the second half. We lost control of the game. Yeah, I'll, I'll agree with Mickey Scully there now. It's But this this team should have been able to sort that up. Uh, it's just one of them things. I mean, these didn't get in the playoffs for now last year. Well, He's our good side. I think I've said to you in a in a phone call since the weekend, Mickey, that you know to get a point at home against Boreham Wood is 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 you know it's a good thing. Um, disappointing in the manner that we didn't get three points, you know. Yeah. We, but you know, at the end of the day, we we were two nil up. 
Okay, we're Watch still this shot here, yeah, Davey. Watch this shot. Oof. He went. Ashmore, uh, yeah. <laughs> Ashmore went doing an instalment. He was down for a couple of minutes afterwards. That must have oh, really right. flew. Yeah. Oh, Knocked him off his feet. I was some straight by who were in a, I was sitting in the stand killing myself laughing. Big bloke like that. So nice. Just to win with. <laughs> um, but you know, there's some other positives as well off the park. I mean, uh, i just seen a message here. I will get to it here. It is here from Barry Lee. Over a thousand first game. Amazing as well. Let's put yeah. this into context. Um, Newcastle were at home. Uh, friendly. You know, cheap tickets. Uh, South Shields were at home as well. Big game there. First game at this level big attendance there so for us to get that is fantastic and it's showing that the hardcore is building Mickey. yeah it does and it's it's long overdue and i think these lads deserve it and i think the crowds will get better when the when the once i settle down and we're we'll get we're starting 11 nil down and things like that i think you'll only go on and get better things in the stands right i'm uh, no, saying no, no, you know no um opening day decides anyone's season and you know no. we've got a point and we look good at times okay the second half as you can see here boring wood turned up a few gears but we always expect them to be a hard challenge it, it was yeah. never going to be a case of boring wood turned up and rolling over you know no, no. And, uh, i mean that enrico russo i think he's called or souza so, i think it's enrico souza the number 19 he was the best player on the park for me like, well that was him there he doing was that absolutely trickery there. he was excellent all game and of course, two former Gator players playing for Boreham Wood as well, and Chris Bush and Jamal Fifield. How did they do? Jamma was excellent. Um, yeah, he's getting on, he's up, but he's still a way low fox there. Yeah. Uh, Chris Bush is still as crap as ever. He's still got a long throw. Uh, but to be honest, I think uh, Jamma's just, he's a solid player, absolute solid player. I think I've seen on, I think it was his own podcast, um, I think Liam Hogan had said that he's probably been he's probably got the most appearances for a defender in the National League yeah so and, it shows uh, you the experience the lad's got wow so I can see I haven't seen this uh, well, yeah. oof yeah yeah. yeah he's well, been on the pitch about 30 seconds yeah I know yeah just come on I've seen on the, when it's followed by the tweets but yeah uh, there's more messages coming in. Uh, late, uh, late defeat costs us heavily in the season. Hopefully, we can uh, start uh, games, taking games over the line. Yeah, it's always been one of those things, isn't it? That's, uh, that's the difference with a team that does well in this league and a team that doesn't. Um, but you know, this, perfect this symmetry from last season as well. First yeah. game of the season at Dagenham Redbridge, exactly the same thing happened. But I mean, obviously, next week we go down to. Um, well, this week, should I say, we go down to Hartlepool and uh, Hartlepool didn't get the greatest start. So, hopefully, we can go down there, play our game, <laughs> and uh, do what we're about. But, you know, as you mentioned, uh, Boreham Wood there is that that number 19 Sozo? Did it was Sosa? Yeah, Sosa, yes, uh, went down. he was excellent. I mean, it's a hell of a ball for the goal. I mean, you the, the, the picked it up and look, there's the run there. And I'm yeah. shouting, who's got the number two? And look at that, that is a cracking finish. It's a hell of a ball and all. Uh, oh, look at that. Is, wow, I didn't realise they won the Champions League there. Uh, oh. I, it's a, to be honest, if I'd been battered the way they had been in the first half and they got it back to twos each, I think I would have done exactly the same if I'd scored that goal yeah. and all. Oh, well, let's see. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to ridicule any way, any way people apart from Dorkin. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> You know, because uh, God, God forbid a ball boy throw a ball back onto the pitch. But we'll get yeah. into that later in the season when we we'll play them. Um, I think the ball boy should go on strike uh, in that game. But uh, uh, yeah, we've got a mess. Good yeah. morning about that again. Yeah, um, we've got uh, Magni was brought on for Callum Whelan, and uh, we lost our rhythm. Um, yeah, it's one of them things that happens. Um, we've got uh, one second here, Luke Hannant. Of course, we haven't talked about Luke Hannant, another yeah. signing, uh, since that we were last on air with the podcast. So, Luke Hannant makes his return. Um, not 100% fit. I think probably, I don't obviously, I don't think he's played anywhere pre season, has he? Unless he's had a few trial games here and there. So, he'll be wanting to get up to speed. 
Um, but yeah, we've got keep them messages coming in, loads of them coming in. I mean, six red cards as well in the National League this weekend. Uh, it seemed every game had a bit of drama in it nearly. Uh, so keep them coming in. But of course, what we want to go on to is, as I say, I've got here, little Adam Campbell. Uh, he's went on to pastures new. Um, bit of a shock, uh, bit of a gutter, um, if I'm honest. Uh, I, I really like the lad. Um, and, uh, you know, he scored some beautiful goals for us, dare I say, filthy goals. But if you'd like to send a message, because I'm sure Adam will watch this, uh, watch it back. Uh, if you want to message for Adam, uh, we'll put them on the screen. But, uh, you know, we wish him all the best down to Crawley. And, um, you know, he said it was, a, it was a hard one to take, but, you know, he, he understands football, the business that it is. And, um, yeah, it's uh, it's a real shame. It's it's a good one. Um... Um, how do I say this? Well, I think both of us. Uh, got, I mean, I'll go first. I'll let you just compose yourself on that one because, yeah. I, I'm obviously I'm very lucky when I do the, the the commentary. I get to talk to the players and and things like that afterwards. I, I don't like to bug them or anything. You know, if I, if they have them on the commentary, I'll get to know them then and stuff like that. But Adam was um just a, a lovely lad. Um, I think when we first had him on, he, he was happy to be back in full time football. Haven't been at Darlington, and this was like he's, he's. I think he said his last chance, wasn't it? He thought this is the way to yeah. get back into it. And um, when we won the league at Chorley, I think I've told this story before. He come over and give us a cuddle when I was crying, and it was a really special moment for me because it is nice. Because in the past we've had some arrogant players in the past or whatever, and the the kind of nonchalant or standoffish. Mm-hmm. And he come over and just said, "This is what it's all about. Enjoy it, enjoy it." And then he come back and said the same thing again about two minutes later when I was still sobbing my eyes out. So it's it really is a a, a good act. I had a lot of time for, as I have for a lot of the players in the squad. So yeah. for Adam to leave, it was it was it was a, a gut wrencher. And I, when I said to Mickey in a private conversation when we have we chat about what we're going to talk about on the podcast, you know, we lost McCauley and Kedwin last year. Um, both players that achieved fantastic things for us got the club to a higher level and left and left the club in a financially better position as well. You can see the same for Adam. He got us to the, uh, got us into the national league, kept us here and got us to Wembley as well with some important goals and left for a, 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 a money amount. And for me, you know, it would have been nice to end it in a nicer way than just quickly, just before the end of the season, it would be nice to say goodbye. These things don't happen in an ideal world. I know that, but I just wish Adam Campbell, the absolute best down at um at Crawley and, and thank you for the memories because there we go look at that in a Wembley shirt holding the league championship and uh he looked good in the gated shirt while he was in it didn't he Mickey? Well, I, I mean I'll come on to my bit. Um not only did I think Adam Campbell was an excellent player, a bit like yourself, I've got a lot of time for Adam. I support Adam quite a bit. And he's He's an exceptional footballer, but an exceptional person. Um, Without going too far into it, you know, about Tony was poorly. And when the players all found out, it was Adam Campbell who sorted all the messages out for Tony. He ran to ask how I was. And after all the matches, he, when I was there, he was asking how Tony was and he was asking how I was. And I'll never forget that. As long as I live, I'll never forget that. Mm-hmm. For what he done in the, the message and the shirt, the gift to Tony as well. I'll never forget that. All them lads who, well, well, the whole squad asked as well, to be fair. But there was, Adam got a few who were available at the time to do the messages. And I'll never forget that. As long as I live, I'll never forget that. And yeah. then, if you're listening, Adam, a massive thank you. I wish you nothing but the best at Crawley. Yeah, yeah. I'm absolutely gutted he's gone. But like I told my nephew, who was our J, he's, he loved Adam Campbell. I see as players move on, you'll find other heroes. Just yeah. don't forget them. Definitely. And uh, as I say, there's, there's not many players can leave having took a club to, to Wembley, help them stay up because his goals were pivotal the last season. Uh, and his goals were pivotal as well with the Macaulay Langstaff and Kedwin goals in getting us over the line for the, the, the league the league title. Um, so yeah. it is. So we've got, I've been putting up the messages here. I don't want to read them all out. Um, just I've put them up on screen. Uh, keep them coming in. 
Um, and someone's put, what's happened to Adam Campbell? Someone's been living under a rock. He's signed for uh, Crawley uh, for an undisclosed fee on uh, Friday uh, afternoon. So I uh, we'll wish him all the best. And um, I say, I don't think he's involved tonight at Crawley. He's not on the team sheet, is he? Uh, uh, no, so I'd look before I, I knew he'd be relocating down uh, at the moment. So you would imagine he's getting himself all settled uh, down in the country for his stay with Crawley. And we just wish him all the best. Um, got a message here as well. A major disappointment losing Adam. Uh, not only a very tempting player, but someone uh, never less than 100%, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, we're not in a position where we can turn down uh, fees like that. And yeah, it, it, I kind of said the same thing last year. And I don't want to sound like broke sheep, but we're not the biggest club in the world. We know this. And for us to carry on the way we want to go is to bring in players, nurture them on. I'd imagine, <clears throat> pardon me, the ideal situation is bringing a younger player and sell them on. But Adam, yes, it's still a young lad compared to us. But, it, you know, in football terms, he's probably two thirds through it. And, you know, to be able to do that with a player of his calibre, of course, he was definitely playing below his level. I think everybody knew that. Um, but he's got that chance now when he's he's back in the football league. And uh, well, I think, like everybody... Back in the league. What, yeah. a, what, a, what an opportunity, another opportunity for Adam. It is. And and like, I, I think it's absolutely I th- brilliant. I think, like, everybody will all be um, looking out to see if he scores uh, in his fixtures and stuff and seeing how he's doing. Um Adam sent my friends and family a signed shirt from the players after his neat got leukemia. Uh, sorry, don't know how to spell it. No, 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 it's fantastic. Adam is, is a lovely lad. And uh, don't get us wrong, there's still some lovely lads in that dressing room. Um, and I've got oh. a lot of time for them all. Yeah, I've got um, a lot of time for them. I mean, Wardy was one, Monty was one. But without going on, Bales was one. Yeah, definitely. I'll never forget what they had done a bit. I think, was it Barry who just sent the thing about leukemia? Yeah. And mine wasn't the Tony's wasn't leukemia. It was Hodgkin, Hodgkinson's lymphoma. Fortunately, she's six months clear at the minute, which is absolutely fantastic news. And I'll never forget what they had done. And it was just a such a comfort to meet. And now the lads had me back as well, and the bands back. Yeah, no, let's uh, say just uh, special people. Uh, yeah. So on that note, as I say, thank you, Adam Campbell. Uh, I have to say, just a lovely lad. Uh, we're going to put up an advertisement for uh, how to contact us. Please do. And uh, we'll be back. Uh, well, sorry, not how to contact us. You can contact us on the chat facility that you're watching us on. This is how to follow us on social medias. <laughs> Right, yo, um, if you didn't join us right at the top of the show, this is what we've got going on here tonight. Um, we have, let's get it all on me, hello there. Uh, also as well, we're going to do a little behind the scenes as well. We're going to tell you how we do the podcast as well. Look at that. Uh, but we'll get into that a little bit later on. Um, as I say, subscribe, that's the important thing. We'd love you to uh, get involved here on the Heed Army podcast. And as well, thank you to our sponsors, Novel Pin Solutions, and our partners, Patrick, as you can see, we're looking trendy in our stuff. Uh, We'll be talking about this later on. We've got Hartlepool on at the weekend. Are you going down? Uh, of course, we spoke about Adam Campbell there. and um, But uh, we have got some new arrivals. We'll get into that very shortly. But I don't want to seem callous and just talk about Adam Campbell leaving and talking talking about people that's come in. Um, but, Mickey, we've got on the ladies' front, there's a little bit of an announcement, isn't there? And I'll put you on yeah. first because I'll, I'll put it up with you. Ooh. Uh, yes. Uh, on Sunday, the lasses are playing Liam at the Washington Hub. All the details are on there. Two o'clock kickoff, just a friendly. Um, so if you can make it down to there, come down and watch the lasses. Uh, you'll get to see some of the new players there. Yeah, I think Amy Richardson's the latest one, uh, who's just signed. So and the fixtures have come out. Uh, I forgot to send them to you, Davy, to uh, put up on the screen, but. Uh, I've got September. a couple of them here. I've got there. Let's see. Obviously, that one there is um, the That's South Shields one already happened. And of course, yeah, this the Liam Green one a week tomorrow as well. And if it's a good setup down Bertley, if you can get yourselves down to Bertley, come down and watch the lasses. Uh, it's a good setup. You can get yourself a drink there or a soft drink or a cup of coffee. Uh, I'm sure the lasses will certainly appreciate the, the support. But 
it's looking really positive for the lasses this year. Um, yeah, they got beat in the opening friendly. Uh, I, I still see the result was harsh on them. Mm-hmm. Um, and so Shields are so Shields ladies are a very good side. Um, yeah. So, but it, it's looking promising. It's looking very promising, and I just hope you can make it down to Washington Hub <laughs> or, or or the Bertie game coming. Come and support the lasses because they fully deserve your support, and hopefully we can uh, get a few more down there on a Sunday. It's, it's well, we certainly go. a few Stuart, more getting. Up. Stuart Allen said, "See you there." So, yeah, uh, I bumped into Stuart at uh, at South Shields, uh, <laughs> but we've got some really good, talented players, and yeah, we've lost a few, which were were sad to see go, but. This team is could could actually su- surprise a few this year. Yeah, I'll, I'll be very surprised if we're not in the top, top well the top four or five easy. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. It'd be very good. No um, pressure, we've got a, <laughs> no pressure. I think he's lumped it on you there. Uh, <laughs> we've got um, a message as well. People talking more about uh, Adam Campbell. Good. Adam has left. Uh, wish him all the success at Crawley, Saint yeah. Geordie. Uh, good about Adam uh, leaving. But it's a good opportunity for him, and he's welcome back any time. Uh, well, he's definitely a club Love legend. Um, you know, the things he achieved in a gated shirt while he was here was second to none. Um, Some of the goals. I think we should have, you should have had a compilation, maybe, to be fair. Yeah. Um, also, as well, there has been uh, some t- about former Gated player as well that has been sentenced today. Uh, we're not really going to get into that. We don't want to advertise it. Um, just got to save it. Uh. Uh, the, the, hopefully the victim made a full recovery and things like that. Um, it's just, it's not great. It's not great, really. And, uh, no, I don't want to, don't want to advertise it. To be honest, it's uh, very sad. Um, we've got here. South Shields result uh, was harsh indeed. The ladies uh, were still in the game right up to the last ten minutes mm-hmm. from time. So yeah, and uh, we've got another one there on that game. The ref didn't do the lasses any favors. Oh, Stuart. I've tried to tell the two Davies on our chat, our uh, what they call it, WhatsApp group. Please, please tell them how bad this referee was, please, Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mickey, Mickey's told us he was practically nearly banned um, by the the, the uh, to the extent of what was yeah, going in this game. He told me that if I didn't shut up, I could leave. Oh, and if wow. I didn't, if I didn't, if I didn't, if if he asked us to leave and I didn't leave, he was within his rights to, can- to abandon the game. I wonder if that'll work on the podcast. Anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'll an easy switch off if you want to. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, we've got a message here from Vanessa. She's put, yeah, even and both, uh, good to catch up with the Heat Army news again. Well, it is. And um, How are you doing, well, Vanessa? Yeah, we well, hope you're all right, Vanessa. Uh, Ginger Joe is cut out. When does the transfer window close, folks? It doesn't for oh, us. It's so open till the back end of March for registrations. But that leads us on to the next thing. Of course, we obviously talk about the... The players are leaving. Uh, we've got players arriving. And there was much talk of um, this player here... Uh, McBride, um, because obviously he was tried as 21, and what do you know? He's got yeah. the 21 shirt. Uh, Mickey, you talked about him a little bit before there. Um, obviously, you got to see his debut, full debut on Saturday. Um, that seems to be a very good signing. Initial and on initial viewing, we look as if we could have a very good play on our hands. I mean, he was instrumental in the second goal, mm-hmm. uh, with that lovely turn on the edge of the box. And long may it continue. Um, I hadn't actually seen Travis 21 play because the games that he played in, I wasn't there. Yeah. So this was the first time I'd seen him. I mean, believe it or not, there was loads of trying to look through under 21 sides from... It was quite funny. I was. I would. I would get messages about. I think it's this player here that played. You know, in the <laughs> in the <laughs> Lancashire East League. Um, but no, I think the um, only one I didn't try was Scotland. I was checking all under twenty one squads. Well, in the was, north, and I never thought to check Scotland. 
but he seems a very good. I mean, apparently he was, he was at Rafe Rovers, wasn't he? So, yeah. um, but he's come in um, and uh, nice interview on Gator C TV. If you so, if you like to go yeah. over to that and have a look after the podcast, though, after the podcast, uh, don't be going over now and leaving us. Um, but also as well, uh, Harrison Bond, um, yeah. the. the the, the goalkeeper that everyone knew his name but never spoke about it at a, at a, at a game. Um, he's We've um, been expecting I'm, you, Mr. Bond. Uh, yeah. <laughs> name's Harrison. It's named after George. Um, right. So, no, uh, Harrison Bond, of course, uh, had been at Sunderland and um, looked very competent in pre season as well. Uh, you know, in the games he did, looked very good. I believe last Saturday he played for uh, Shildon. And yeah. uh, saved a penalty as well. So um, I think the initial plans for him, reading uh, the interview, was that he's going to be sent out on loan so he can get more game time. And yeah. I think the initial match day cover will be Rob Elliott if it is in an emergency. But, uh, you know, touch wood, fingers crossed, uh, you know, it doesn't com- come to that. And uh, in the event, Harrison's there to um, play in a game if uh, Archie Mayer... Did you, is- listen to, did you listen to his interview? I didn't. I didn't have a chance. Apparently, he used to play in midfield as well. Ah, well, we're overrun at the minute. Um, yeah. So, I will have so, to I think, <laughs> so, so he should be quite good. He says it's done him the world of good to be playing in midfield. Yeah. All the passes and, well, and um, t- so. our resident, our resident Stato, uh, McBride was at Blackburn and Tony Mowbray was there. Uh, so there we go. Um, also, as well, uh, Stuart Allen had been told to wind his neck in by that referee. Yeah. At, uh, <laughs> and, uh, Barry Lee's just trying to cause trouble. Sophia, can you close the fridge? All I can hear is the beeping. <laughs> Don't get this on other podcasts, do you? Um, so, uh, <laughs> uh, one second, we've got more here. We've got uh, Vanessa. Uh, I'm all good here. Delighted to uh, get a good point on Saturday. And Scottish, uh, oh, one second, Scottish favourite. So there we go. Uh, so this is uh, a few you've, spots. Got Mc, you've got McBride, you've got Mayor, you've got yeah. Stuart Allen. Yeah, we've, we've got. Over. They're coming across the board and in Vainor again. I know. Well, Johnny Gray has put uh, Regan Boot, you can't get in midfield, so Bond will have to join the queue. Um, <laughs> And uh, also as well, uh, David Trons, but Boreham Wood should have finished with nine men, not ten. Mickey, do you want to do you want to divulge into was that the Jamal Fifield tackle? I I just briefly caught it. You know, Simon Lowry told me it was a good tackle. Uh, what I seen of it, he come through straight through the back of the player. I can't remember who it was who ran down the lane, and to me, it looked as if he'd come straight through the back of him. Jamal was already on a on a yellow card and. Other referees would, could quite easily have sent Jamal off. Uh, he gave the free kick, so to me that is as a foul. And if you're coming through the back of players, that's a red card. Much as I don't want to see Jamal sent off. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I don't like to see any. I like this. No, no. It, well, unless it's Blythe, of course. I, I'd like to see four of them sent off. But, <laughs> um, and the manager. I, you know, but it's I, I like to see a proper game and sometimes yeah it, it makes it harder when they're doing the 10 men it does doesn't it i don't know if it's psychological or what but yeah, how many you times know, it's because everyone pulls against... together because you know you've got to put the extra graft in seems that way doesn't it um but yeah that's it it's, it's a funny old game as they say uh we've got a message here um it'll be ne- i'd say is anyone from the gated soul would like to reach out and tell us about anything that you've got going on it would be absolutely fantastic yeah. uh, uh scully is what can i just mention that the raffle that the gated soul are having uh on the soul club shop there is a chance to win a signed fa trophy football and shirt which is drawn tomorrow so get yourself onto the soul social media there will be links there and why not get yourself a chance to win a bit yeah. of club history there? Let's pay some money for the soul. Yeah, definitely. Um, we've got here a uh, whisper at Cryot River promotion might be quite possible this season. At least uh, should have less stress than 75% of the season. Well, stress is going to be there, whether you're up the top or you're at the bottom. Um, also, as well, it does seem as if the three up, three down is going to be in place next year, doesn't it? There's a lot of, lot of talk really? about it. Well, I've, I've, I've seen one podcast. I can't remember which one it was. I'll try and dig it out for you, Mickey. And a, another couple of tweets where people have said that it's kind of nailed on for next year. But 
I've got a funny I feeling on... the league might um might change might hedge the bets on that one. But uh, uh who knows? I was on Luke Walsh's podcast last week and I mentioned to them that hopefully not County and Wrexham have set a present where the there's three places for next season. Yeah. Um I mean, it to be fair, to be intense, it? yeah. To be fair, Wrexham and Nuts County get get battered on the oh, yeah. days of the season, which is which doesn't help. But no, they, they didn't do us a great advertisement there. there, like. Yeah? <laughs> they didn't do us a great advertisement on the first day, but no. But um, I, I no. still think both both teams will be in the playoffs at least yeah, come yeah. come April next year. Yeah, you would definitely think so, wouldn't you? Um, just having a look here, I've got a notification. I don't know if uh, nope, it's uh, something different. Um, but yeah, um, also as well, uh, you can tweet us at uh, he underscore army on uh, Twitter, but we can't bring them up on screen on the um, actual um, uh, on, on, the st- on the stream here, uh, which is a bit of a shame. It would be nice to be able to have all of the social media, um, you know ways of bringing in messages there is a, a few tweet no just retweets that were on so thank you very much to everyone that has done that it uh, really does help if we can share the show and get more people into it uh more messages coming in darren walden has put why does uh, the heat fans hate blive so much why wouldn't you why wouldn't you uh <laughs> go on Mickey, it's, all to do, it's all to do with our floodlights when that and we went up there and they were shouting for telford uh, who were playing on the day, on the evening, sorry. And uh, a lot of Gator fans were up there were actually supporting Blythe in the FA Cup run in the 1978, I think it was, 77, and took umbrage by that. Um, Blythe done it because we keep nicking their players, their better players <laughs> back in the day. And there's been a mutual dislike of each other ever since. Yeah. Um, plus, like I say, who would want to live there anyway? Well, can I can <laughs> I just say something, Mickey? Well done. That's the first time you've ever been diplomatic and thoughtful in what you've said in your life. <laughs> yeah, I had to think. I had to be very, very. <laughs> you see the steam coming out his ears. Oh, that's great. I had to I had to be very diplomatic there. Um, I to be wouldn't... fair, I've, I've, I've what, what the Carla lad who does a commentary is it Liam or Nail? Nail, he seems a decent enough lad. Um, I, I dare say most of them are to be honest, but uh, yeah. it's just, just the affiliation. Um, we've got a special message that's come in here, it hasn't come up on the screen, but I'll see it now. Um, c- can we say a big happy birthday to Poppy Walden uh, for Monday, please? She's watching. So happy birthday for that. Happy birthday, 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 birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Poppy. <laughs> happy birthday to you. <laughs> and for that, we're going to give you some fireworks with Mickey on the screen. Look at that. Not everyone gets that, Poppy. You got the fireworks. <laughs> that was that was that, that was just the. The spark shooting me years when I was trying to be diplomatic. It was. There we go. So there's the fireworks for Poppy's birthday. No, happy birthday, um, Poppy. Have a good one. Yeah. Um, right. Keep them messages coming in as well. Um, but uh, we've got messages here. We've got another birthday one here. Oh, God, it's turned into a birthday show. Can you wish a belated 17th birthday to Miles Armstrong? So we'll give him some fireworks. Oh, yes. Happy birthday, Miles. He's yeah, there uh... Miles is there's Miles is uh fireworks yeah he's he was going to listen to the podcast unfortunately got cancelled and he was going to sit down and with his dad davy and uh, we're going to watch the podcast for his birthday oh well fantastic well hopefully he had a lovely birthday and there's other messages coming in happy birthday uh, poppy there as well uh i don't voice. it's going to say happy birthday don't forget males no. I'm starting to think that Patrick's story has never, uh, his vision of an angel is something quite different to mine, but he's got, you've got the voice of an angel, Mickey. Um, Thank you very much. (laughs) Um, (laughs) That's swallowed razor blades and its halo has slipped and the wings have been clipped. (laughs) Yeah. Um, we've got uh, here we'll go. Um, couldn't agree more <laughs> on live what Mickey said, they'll go down sooner than later. Uh, so there we go. And uh, 
being strangled, says uh, Trina. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, <laughs> you want to hear you want to hear Trina's singing voice. It's like uh, a no. spot in the fog. Oh, we've got um, <laughs> good to see Denanga getting off the mark. Also, <laughs> hopefully he can get 15 to 20 goals this season for us. It would be very nice. Uh, Darren Walden's put, uh, will this be the start of a regular feature, the birthday slot? It could be. But we, it could be. I, I don't mind singing happy birthday. Well, there we go. We can have birthday and fireworks every week. And uh, <laughs> there will be fireworks if anyone pinches any more ripples out the fridge. I'll tell you that. <laughs> uh, we'll see you. Yeah, it's, it's awful, that like. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Skull getting away with it. <laughs> yes, the crumbs of ripples falling down her face. But thank you, she's thrilled. Um, Poppy, don't ever steal ripples from your future partner in, in years to come. It, it never end in a good way. Um, it was my birthday last Tuesday too. Well, there we go, Christopher. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Uh, are you going down on Tuesday to uh, the... Oh, 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 what was that? Is that more galaxy chocolate? You know, already just found me stuff. What about Tuesday, Saturday? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm it's the ripple. Look, she's still just winding this up. Look, <laughs> horrendous. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, Hell's Angel. You've got the voice of a Hell's Angel. <laughs> <laughs> um, Class. Uh, oh, well, so, yeah. But, um, keep the messages coming in. As I say, if y'all just uh, join us, a quick recap. I, uh, I'll get up uh, like this so we can get these things up on the screen so they work properly. Uh, of course, subscribe if you are just joining us. It'd be really helpful. Thanks to the sponsors and partner. Uh, but Hartlepool, are you going down there on Saturday? I believe there's still places left on the coach, if I'm right. Uh, so if you want to go and heed travel on uh, social media platforms and uh, you'll find out how much it is and how many seats are left. So if you want to get down there, to Victoria Park on Saturday. Get down there. It should be absolutely fantastic. And of course, we'll still take messages for Adam Campbell, who's left for Pastures New. Um, so he'll be greatly missed and uh, lovely lad. And of course, the transfers that's happened as well. McBride has come in, as has Ar Harrison Bond. And the ladies' uh, fixture has been moved. So this uh, this weekend, they are playing there. So we'll, we'll put that back up later on. At the Washington Hub. At yeah. the Washington Hub. So there we go. Get your messages in, everybody. I think and, you need uh, an advert, David. I think we do, but one second. Chocolate in the fridge. We're not I said, Joe, we've yet. had this debate last week or the last time on. Chocolate oh. in, the, in the fridge is a no go for me. I'm starting to think these are all horrible viewers. On that note, we'll be back in a second. The Heat Army podcast needs your help. No, we don't need money. All we need is you to do one simple thing. It'll take less than a second if you could hit that like button, the subscribe button, and share whatever post that we put up regarding Gator Football Club. It'll go a long way in helping the show build and ultimately helping us push the club to the moon. While Mickey has went to point Percy at the porcelain, I'll quickly uh, read out a couple of messages here. Someone's put chocolate in the fridge. I know, I know. We'll, we'll get, well, I put that just before I went in, didn't I? But this is the one that made us laugh. Looks like ripples are in the air tonight. Um, yes. So that's quite good. And apparently it is £15 for the bus to Hartlepool. And uh, we've got breaking news on the chocolate front as well. Uh, she was absolutely shocked when Daddy put the chocolate in the fridge last week. Well, that's where it should be. See, I've got a bit of my chocolate here, so, uh, but it's got a little bit warm, so I'm going to put it back in the fridge. Uh, on that note, Mickey's back. Uh, did you manage to get to the toilet all right, Mickey? Oh, yes. It was like, uh, I think I've got a stole horse. <laughs> Thank God we haven't got um, the cordless so, microphones that he went to the toilet with. Otherwise, that could have been very uh, naked gun. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cadbury's chocolate too. Oh yeah, you got to. I like it with a galaxy of time to time, man. Cadbury's. Uh, Liv's getting in quick with our predictions already. You can send them in as well if you want to. She's put three one at the weekend. Um, we've got here. Yeah, we're away to Wooler for the weekend. Uh, booked it before Christmas for the uh, fixtures came out. Gutted. 
didn't he didn't let me wife here you got to wallow there's a wool shop there should be right into it <sighs> you can always just drop them off and come back i could I? early god i don't, I don't want to they you know worry or anything johnny but the the fish and chip shop up there is expensive i'll tell you that um so that's just, a proper proper northumbrian accent up there as well isn't it There's, oh yeah like, like yeah, the, yeah. uh-huh like my dad years ago he used to work for the breweries and used to go up like different bars and stuff, putting the lines in and stuff. And one of the one of the locals went, What do you think of that Ronald Ray gun? <laughs> 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 I was hating what it was in the eighties. But uh yeah. <coughs> yeah so Well yeah. was it the pit Ashton fanzine, the Pit Pony Express had the Ashton meanings. I think Ashton, so, yeah. Ashton Dictionary. If you can get a have a look at that online. The Ashton Dictionary, it's funny as out, that they? Like. Oh, it's a... It's like a... The English version, and then the... What's he call it? Well, look at the... We'll go back to the hearses. Uh-huh. Do you see um... all that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just seen a message. Uh, Anne Scurfield, just as well we can't get Twitter messages up on the air because we couldn't put that one up. What's <laughs> <laughs> he put? <laughs> In relation to... No, Blythe, he, he's, 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 he's had his... Um, his eloquent flow of uh no, he's eloquent he's be, being very eloquent today is he yes he he's being very eloquent you can tell he's been in bolt in a while um <laughs> we've, we've got um the one and only dave allen he's put oh he's too late at the party man we've already mentioned this he's put just tuned in lads don't know if you've mentioned it but there's a raffle for a saint fa trophy football and wembley shirt drawn tomorrow and a two pound per ticket as we mentioned before get on to the gates at soul uh social media and you will see the links there on where to book uh, uh, buy your things uh, buy your tickets book my match ticket and train uh this afternoon uh, spending pretty much all day down there can't wait for it see you all down there well it's going to be a nice one of course um i've got strange memories of victoria park because obviously it was our home for a little bit and uh <laughs> like, i'm always thankful but it's 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 a, it's a weird place um uh, the weirdest game i've seen there was the stockport one what what two nil down weren't we mickey cummins got it right at the end Oh, was that, oh South- that was that was different. That was Southport. Southport, yeah. The bogey was manager of Stockport at the time, wasn't he? And with, they got with, it back with, the twos yeah, each. With, with we Terry, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah definitely. Sorry, I'm just I'm keeping my keeping myself lubricated here because um, I yeah, threw... Well, I drew twos each the last time we played them in the league because think... Wes York scored a goal late on. Yeah, he might have done. Yeah, I think I think that uh, uh, could be right. That was a, that was a good afternoon. Yeah, um, we've got uh, Sam Pendleton's jumped in. Uh, he's put uh, shame to see Adam Campbell depart. However, he's been a fantastic servant to the club and always gave his best and never stopped running. All the best in the future uh, to Aaron Martin, who's joined South Shields as well. Yes, how how yeah. do we forget? He scored on his debut as well. Uh, so uh, see, he's on the pastures new. As is Lyra Kasani. He's down there on a season long loan as well. Yeah. Down at uh, the uh, this, what are they, are they called the Sand Dancers? Is that their nickname? Ooh, bandwagoners. Well, let's see. <laughs> to me, it was <laughs> scum too. Um, right. Um, we've got. Uh, <laughs> hope we beat Hartlepool. Won't be there. I'll be watching by other means. I don't know what he means by that. Um, but yeah. So uh, he's going to fly past and he's playing. That's what he's going to do. He's got a drone, isn't he? Um, right, uh, get your predictions in for the weekend. Uh, as I say, we're not going to do another show later this week, of course, because of the COVID. That's why I had to uh, cancel the show and was unfortunate enough to do the, um, the uh, oh, one second to the commentary last weekend, which is a real shame. Um, on a note of that, we are going to leave a spare mixer. So, in an event of that ever happening again, then someone will be able to hopefully be able to provide a commentary. Uh, we've got uh, Christopher Story, but Jeff Stellan will be down there on Saturday. Who knows? You may bump into him. Yeah, I've seen their advertising Jeff Stellan as part of their corporate package. Uh, they're called the Mariners. Uh, the uh, Mariners. It's Mariners, isn't Mariners. it? Yeah. Mariners, um, uh... Yeah, so but uh, oh God, people going for draws here, Mickey. Uh, going uh, 2 2 draw, Johnny Gray on Saturday over a 2 2 draw for Sam Pendleton as well. Uh, we've got 3 2 from Sean Parry, and Trina is going 3 0 to the heed. Uh, Mickey, you gonna put your head on the chopping block? I fancy we, I really do. Um, 
and I think it'll be two two one. Um, but uh, they've got that lad from Halifax coming back from his suspensions. Does it worry? Does it or whatever it is? It's yeah. it's a wheel. I cannot see it. Does it worry? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, he's. <laughs> He's he's free from suspension. Yeah. So, uh, well, I've seen some of the goals I let in on the highlights against Barnet, and defensively they look a bit shaky, but they look good coming forward. So, yeah. Um, it's going to have to be a good performance down there, uh, mm-hmm. and I'm I'm quietly confident, but uh, I've been quietly confident before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well the predictions are flying in at the moment as well um so we're putting them on the screen there and uh hopefully you know it, it will give a good account of ourselves and uh you know do what we do in front of goal and uh stay a bit more uh rigid at the back then we yeah. can you know come away with something but of course to go away to Dagenham and redbridge after that don't they um the tuesday the night road. yeah tuesday <laughs> night so that's a, you know funny enough you know normally criticize the uh the um the national league for the fixtures, but maybe this time they have got it wrong. <laughs> maybe <laughs> on the Tuesday might have made more sense. Um, but uh, hopefully it's Greg, Ollie, to me, like, but... yeah. uh, hopefully Greg Ollie will be back fit for Saturday. Yeah, hopefully he can be involved. Yeah, hopefully. Um, and three one to Gated says Christopher Story, Gordon Mannins went two one to Gated. Hopefully, so keep their messages coming in, and also as well, just a massive thank you to everyone as well because uh, the, the viewing figures. Are quite high uh this season uh, on the podcast which is which is lovely we've got more people talking that's what we want that's essentially what the show is it's it's to advertise and get more gated fans talking and ultimately get more people at the match so a big thank you to everyone that has joined us if you are new please do subscribe uh it really does help and also hit the bell as well so if we do go live or upload a new video you get to know about it straight away uh when we're doing it so you don't miss a show or you I'd can like to know what poppy's prediction is yeah, let's find out what Poppy's birthday prediction is. Um, we've got a message here from Sam Pellant. I thought Regan Brutley did well at the back. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, what were your thoughts on his game on Saturday? Well, Mickey, you're the one that's seen it. It wasn't me. I'm have to... I was very... Imp- I thought Regan <laughs> had a good game, to be fair. Um, yeah. It was, in the first half, was a, a lot of positives to take from that. I thought Regan Brutley played really well. I thought Jordan Hunter looked good. Uh it was a, a really good team performance in the first half. Um, I just thought in the second half, they they took control and our, we just seemed to be going further and further back. And poor Marcus Denhanger was just left up front on his tongue. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, it, we're going to have to see how things pan out and how they uh, set up for Saturday. Um, I was about to go on to this, actually, because a uh, bit of an apology, because obviously we advertised Mark Crovers in the advert for this uh when it was still being shown but obviously um that was for the original broadcast and mark's busy uh on 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 tonight obviously um but where's davy Steele tonight will he be back for the next show well he's in france at the minute he's on so a family holiday in, in, is it south of france i think yeah azure i think he's in at the moment sure. so he's uh <laughs> you're not sure he's in azure yeah. um so there we go but uh, no no he's uh he'll be back um i think he may be back next week um i'm not too he sure said he would be back next week yeah, he said he said he'd be back uh he's, he's threatened well with it uh so he's coming back but we hope he's having a lovely uh holiday uh down what, in, uh, what presents he'll bring we back davy oh a couple of snails probably um Empty shells and that greedy git. Yeah. <laughs> he's probably he smoking like, the he can live off the land, before. can't he? So. He can, he can. He's like, he's like a bush tucker man. Uh, I've been to, uh, sorry, I haven't been to a Gator game in two years. Oh, get yourself yeah, along. Get yourself Gordon. back to Gordon. All right, man. Most famous ball boy in, uh, in the Northeast. Um, oh. Poppy thinks 3 2 to the heat and Tabitha thinks 3 1. Well, thank you, girls, yeah, you for uh, doing that. And hopefully in there. And uh, <laughs> uh, there was a running joke the other week when we were on when we were talking to some of the new Gator players that there, there's a there's a big Liverpool fans in the uh, contingent in the dressing room. And uh, Mason's, but did he get anything back from Hannon to find out he was a Liverpool fan? I didn't know. I did ask. Yeah, you know. Um... It, sorry, just a side note. In 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 the first stint of uh, Hannon uh, when he played at Gated. I would always see him in Tesco 
in uh, in uh, Trinity Square. So if anyone ever wants to go get a player spot, and I'd imagine he'd be, he he loved the place. He was always there. So uh, it's probably what he thought about me and Al. But uh, what's yeah. Charlie, um, his former Port Vale uh, teammate Tom Pope used to say he looked like Warwick. Da- Is it Warwick Davis? <laughs> <laughs> I did notice someone put he's got the whitest teeth in non-league, which I did quite make his laugh. Um, I don't know if he's been to Turkey for them. We'll find out um, if he's got turkey teeth. But uh, please, someone, please don't. Uh, no, I'm not going to say if people start saying he's got turkey teeth running down the wing. Uh-huh. Um, It'll be interesting hope- to see what this the team's going to be when Hannant is match fit. Yeah, you'd imagine he'd be a couple of weeks behind, won't he? Uh, if yeah. he hasn't had a, a full preseason, hopefully the ladies can have a good season. Uh, who's opponents this week for, uh, for the friendly? Well, they don't have a friendly this week, do they? It's uh, oh, it is a friendly, yeah, it is a friendly. Sorry, so one second, I'll put Mickey back up full screen because he's gorgeous and he can tell you all about uh, the, this. Just if you are just joining us, the ladies, uh, uh the ladies are playing at uh, the Washington Hub on Sunday against Liam Lane, kick off two o'clock. Uh, You've got the postcode there, so um, I've just moved it down there because it's easier. Um, so there you go, and it should be a good game. And we've got Burtley Town on a week tomorrow. Actually, yeah. I've, got that. I've got that as well. There we go. So it'll be great to see a few people down there who, if you haven't been and watched the lasses come and give them a Come give them a watch. The lasses will really appreciate you coming down and watching. I mean, uh, wasn't Gated's first ever, Gated Lady's first ever goal down at uh, Burtley? Um, and he's Alicia yeah, Henry. Yeah, it was. Yeah, we, we've, there's actually a video People on our YouTube about that. Yeah. Goal. I think it was. Yeah, um, yeah, we've, we've we've actually got a video. Uh, I think it's episode two of the Heat Army vlog, um, as it was when we first started doing videos, and we look uh, just as handsome on that one. Uh, oh, oh, so we've already got that one there. Um, one second. Uh, what do you think? I oh, one second. We've got the rest of it here. What do you think of the National League streaming going down north and south this season? I don't know. It's it's a strange one. It it, it seems to be working. So you know. The, Travelling is quite hard at this time of year, and if clubs can still make a bit of revenue off player people watching online, then you know if it works, it works. But I think it's still in, in its beta phase. I would imagine you know it's it's we'll see if it, if it lasts. Um, but yeah. well, I, I can't see it taking on as much, especially when you you look Notts County and Wrexham have gone. Mm-hmm. I think the only clubs that'll probably make some money out of it. Uh, and one and depends if they get rid of the stupid idiot of an owner is South End. Yeah. And the other one would be Chesterfield. Yeah, it's uh, you, you, it's it's gonna look that way, isn't it? It's uh, you know, you, you think it's set up for the bigger clubs, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Um, one second. Much, I mean, I'm still reeling that we're gonna be on the telly. I know, I know. I was saying we've mentioned that either, have we? We're, we're on telly. Um, oh, we did mention that in the last one, didn't we? Um, right. One second. There's, there's when we spoke to the players the other week, uh, it was from the clubhouse. There was a thing called Bin Gate, and I yes. believe it's still rumbling on. Um, we've got insider information here, uh, from Dave Allen. Heard on the grapevine that the lads in the clubhouse forgot to put their bins out again. Now. Let's have a little uh, people guess. Come on, we're going to go. Is it going to be Booty? Was it Mayor? Was it Hunter? Or was it um, Hannant? I would imagine Hannant's in there now. So who was? Come on, guess in the chat. Who was the player that forgot Ed to put the bins out? Well, Ed Francis, possibly Whelan. Yeah. Oh, tell you what. Let's see. Our Eric and Ed Francis and Whelan are, are topping and tails, and to be honest, um. <laughs> 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 Uh, or oh, Sam Pelton's put Hunter straight in there. He's got form, like, any he? He's got form. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we'll go, hang on one second. We, oh, oh, Trina's put Hunter. Oh, God, David Tron, Hunter. I, t- <laughs> well, I mean, well, we are going to try and get um, his mom on, uh, and we're going to find out if he was, you know, lapsy daisy with the bins at home um, when he was a young'un. Uh, he still is a young'un, to be honest. But, uh, you know, Bingate is going to rumble on. Um 
go on second here. I see Stockport are up to their old tricks with the player they loaned out to Rochdale. Yeah. How could loaned that come? for the season and they called them back. Have they? Oh, wow. He, he was loaned out in the, in the, obviously, in the summer. Yeah. He's played a few friendlies for them and they've called them back. At the wow. end of the day, it's, uh, it's their player. Yeah. I understand, but uh, someone had said to me, they had only 11 fit players. I says, well, 11 fit players are not. That yeah. first game, Pai was called back for, he come off about the 75th minute. On the 75th mm-hmm. minute, never played another any uh, minutes whatsoever in the playoffs for them. Mm-hmm. I know. I, mean, I, I didn't look on Saturday to see if he was in the squad. It's, at the end of the day, it's their player, but I just... you've. If you're getting that many injuries, you should, you should be looking at his training. Yeah, I mean, it stings a little bit, doesn't it? You know what I mean? Uh, you you can you look at that and you're gonna go, aye, it's uh, yeah, it's uh, um, how long before, before Billy Chadwick's call back? Well, I mean, let's not let Mickey, Mickey, and I like to stir it and I like to get in there, knuckle deep, pack it in, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, we've got another vote for Hunter. Uh, Patrick Stories put booty, booty's in trouble with the bins. Um, so there we we've went from chocolate gate to bin gate. Uh, so I'm gonna have to make up some uh, some pictures on there for who, who we think the bins are and put the player with the bin. Um, so that's what we have to do. Who uh, put the bins out? Uh, the, <laughs> had uh, one second. Well, at least one had well. mayor then. <laughs> oh, the, one of them had a mayor. That's quite good. Yeah, that was, that was, it's well played there, Sean Parry. That's a good one. That. Um, uh, we've got a uh, pie was uh unused sub on Saturday. He's starting tonight, though. Uh, one second. Uh, oh, one second here. We've got must be in the air, as Joshua didn't put our bins out either. And I'm going to say Hunter, too. Oof, I tell you what, it's trouble in the Walden house now. <laughs> i tell you what, there's no worse when you, when you forget to put the bin out, though, and, and you, they, it's full. And you know you've got that for two weeks. <sighs> What's he call you? Uh, someone nicked my bloody recycling bin. What the hell someone wants a recycling bin for? I do not know. <laughs> well, yeah, it's well, maybe they were making a go kart and wanted the wheels. Uh, what are that? Yeah, there you can see. I'm just claiming. Yeah, there you can. Or, or, or it's one of the players has come down and pinched your bin. Oh, no, I got pinched a while ago in my blue bin. All oh, right. Oh, well, I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't blame Hunter. Bin gate rumbles on. Um, we've got lots of people joining in. If you'd like to send any messages for Adam Campbell, please do. I also, as well, yet, we? Luke Hannon, we haven't really got into the Luke Hannon. We'll probably try and get it out. We're going to try and reach out to the club this week and see if we can get some more players on. Um, but I think this is probably the last chance to really do it. I don't want to do it in the middle of the season. I, I, I just think it's best to do it early in the season, especially you know, especially introduce some of the players that are maybe on from the region. To, to the fan base and hopefully we can do that so um we, we're, we're getting near the end of the show but we'll keep on going we've got a lot of people watching so if you'd like to see who 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 in the player's house forgot to put the bins out hunter's got a lot of votes at the moment uh, if you like got a message for adam campbell leaving as well yeah and um we've also got as well uh, as i say the, the new signings are coming what do you what, think of them the first result at the weekend and uh, are you going down to Hartlepool as well on Saturday? So send the predictions for that. So please do. And also like and subscribe and share the show. And also, as I do owe an apology to uh, people. Uh, the last two shows haven't been put up on the audio version of the podcast. The the first of the two, um, what it is when we do this show, everything gets stored in the background and then we download the audio after that. And um, I hadn't cleared the backlog of what, our storage was full but last week's is going to be put up tonight and so is tonight's will be put up tomorrow so uh the the, the audio ones will be catching up so apologies on that because i know we still get quite a few listens on uh the audio platforms um so please do that and um one second we do have um uh <laughs> poppy sings who didn't put the bins out I tell yeah. you what, Poppy, I know it's your birthday, but phew, I tell you what, girl. Um, right, we've got uh, it, it, sing it, and you should, we should make an advert with it. Yeah, um, we've got here one second. One of my friends is a Cambridge fan, said that Hannant is a good sign for us. He did well for Cambridge when he was there. Yeah, he's, um, as I say, I think he did what you know, he won a trophy up at um, 
uh, Dundee, didn't he? It was a promotion or the League Cup, one of the two. He, yeah, so you know, he's, he's done very well since leaving Gateshead. But um, <coughs> pardon, very pardon good me. Thing. Yeah, as I say, the opportunities have arisen to bring him back to Gateshead, and um, I'm sure in his first stint, his girlfriend was at university up here or, or from up here, so maybe that uh, led he the way to his last game as well. He went viral as well, didn't he, with for scoring a basketball uh, shot with his shin. Uh, that went on um, Soccer AM, if I remember rightly. Uh, good uh, editing, yeah. to be honest. Like. That's good editing. <laughs> uh, I'm sure it might have been Macclesfield where he scored the winner, and then he went yeah. to Woodfield. Yeah, he's uh, no, he was, he was really good. Uh, also, as well, right just where we're on, uh, the Edinburgh Festival is in full swing at the moment. And our friend Gav Webster, he had, his, he had a sellout last night. So, if you want to go up and get your tickets to go and see him, uh, doing his you can't say now these days at the stand two in Edinburgh, very close to Waverley Station. So, you can make a good day trip of it and get back for the, the, the last train. Uh, say so get up there, and also, as well, he's doing an afternoon show, doing uh, proper jokes. Uh, another show that he's doing, and that one is at one thirty. So if you get the train up at lunchtime, you can go and see him then. Or if you're staying over, I do believe he's doing a show with two other comedians, Matt Bragg, who has been on the show, and uh, another one I believe is called Broad. Uh, that's that the last name. I forgot who it was, but that one as it is, it the beer keller in Edinburgh as well. So uh, go up and support Gav. Um, it seems like the Edinburgh Festival is back with a bang this year since the first, I think, big one since COVID. I think it's really back to what it was. So if you like your comedy, get up there and experience it for yourself. And Theo's put, I'm going up to Edinburgh tomorrow. Well, Theo, you know what to do and tell him that the Heat Army podcast sent you and he'll probably slap you. Um, so... <laughs> Because <laughs> he'd probably make you be the bad lad. <laughs> oh, yeah, that. I'm only joking. Um, we've got uh, Paul, uh, Sam Pendleton, Neddy Paul. Then he said, Paul, I think Paul's his dad. Uh, I was saying, I, I'd like to see Ian Rutledge play if possible on Saturday. Uh, it'd be good to get a goal. A good, I think he'd be a goal threat. I think he's going to be a player that needs to be bled in, um, get him up to speed and maybe alone point, uh, at some point in the season. But Looks exciting so far from what we've seen of him. Um, we've got here. Uh, was very impressed with Wern on Saturday. You said that to me. Um, oh. That was good. Yeah. Oh, oh! I tell you what. Look at this. New home shirt was collected tonight, and tickets booked for Saturday. So uh, when when everyone gets their shirts, can you please tweet them to us at heed underscore army of a photo of you wearing them, and we're going to put yeah. them up on the show. Uh, so when you get your new new home shirt. Send to her, and you're going to be on the show in your shirt, wherever you are in the world, where you're listening. And uh, I think so. Is there commentary on Saturday? I think there will be from probably BBC, uh, BBC or T side on online BBC Sport app, but definitely. Yeah, that would be the one. I think Mickey may have to get. I think your battery's dying in your in your mic there. You may have to get a bit closer to your mic, Mickey. You've went a little bit quiet. But uh, yeah, so the, there should be commentary there. But um, yeah, same as uh, no, not. Yeah, you're a little bit low. It's you can still hear you. It's all right though. It's uh, good. But uh, yeah, as I say, we, we've oh, went, went over time a little bit. We've still got people that always got always got to spare there. Keep it for the next show, Mickey. Um, but no, um, as I say, massive thank you everyone tonight. It's been a, it's been an enjoyable one. Um, apologies, we didn't have a guest, but of course it was just we rearranged and wanted to get the show out and talk about the result and the new players in. And of course, Adam Campbell even as well. And um, it goes without saying, devastated that we've, we've lost such a you know a lovely lad, great player. And um, I think he leaves with the best wishes of everybody. And I think if only in football players could have the chance to do that, and I think Adam has, um, he leaves as a as a as a hero to me. Legend got the club to Wembley, got the club a league title, and um, scored some beautiful, memorable goals. So uh, yeah. That's that's your next thing. You, I think you'll have to um, put a compilation together. We will. We'll do that. And as someone said, uh, you're going very quiet, Mickey. Yeah. So the 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 the, 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 the mic you know, and I got my full Sunday table. Yeah, the mic has went there. So we're we're going to round it off there. Big thank you to Mickey. Big thank you to everyone that has sent in messages tonight. Uh, of course, thank you to our sponsors, Northern Print Solutions, and our partners, Patrick, and uh, also as well to Gator Football Club for all the support they give us as well. And um, we want. Oh, apparently, anyone know why the Hibs manager was there on Saturday? I don't know. 
didn't know the hips manager was there so he must have been looking at somebody i don't know from which side but who knows on that note if you are going down to uh hartlepool have a safe trip enjoy it hope you can hear us now we can hear you now yeah uh so hopefully i won't come back from hartlepool with three points uh enjoy it uh we've got an, another couple of messages here echo your words on campbell he was an ambassador for uh the insp and inspired the team he was he was great and uh, thanks for an eight to see you all on Saturday. Well, yeah, thank you very much, everybody. It's been yeah, a, it's, a, a, a lovely show. As regards to the Hibs manager, I'm glad I didn't see him. No, yeah, because just because he's got a second team, you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, but I'm a I'm a jambo as well. I'm fully fledged jambo. I'm not gonna deny that. Well, on that note, everybody, uh, we're gonna we're gonna end it there and uh, say a big thank you. We're back. The football's back. Uh, we'll be back with the commentary soon. Um, as well, where everything will be back 100%. I know I keep saying back, 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 but it is everything is back. And uh, say so thank you very much, everyone. It's been an absolute pleasure, Mickey. Once again, thank you. And uh, pleasure we'll as see, usual, David. We'll thank we'll you, everybody, see, for listening. Yeah, without a doubt. And we'll see you next time. Remember, like and subscribe, follow us on social media, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.